Hey guys, it's Johnny here from Weeby Gamers. Ahem, today. I'll tell you the story of the Lost Book of Prophecies. This prophetic book was a mysterious tome full of stories of future events. Of course, many people craved this book, wishing to glimpse their futures. But no person after obtaining this amazing book ever found happiness. The reason? The book held frightful secrets, not meant for people's eyes. That book came to be called the Dark Prognosticus, and was sealed away. This is the tale of that forgotten book's last owner. It is a tale of love. <laughs> Going through the pages. Oh, oh, what happened to me? What is this place? La, 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 la. Oh, you're awake, princess. Huh? Quite the scene. What is going on here? Bowser! <laughs> oh, look at all his fans. Oh, all these people. Oh, look at what excited they are for Bowser. Aw, oh, he's got quite the. Sound like a family. What? What? What's going on here? Uh, count? Yeah, um, okay, so preparations are complete. Hmm, mm, then it shall be begun by Count Black. Mm. Bowser, ferocious and fearsome evil king of the Koopas. Do you take Peach to be your lawfully wedded wife till your games be over? <laughs> Will I marry pre-Peach? Are you kidding me? The answer is yes. Peach, noble princess, pure of heart. Do you take Bowser to be your lawfully wedded husband till your games be over? Now wait just a second! You will explain to me what is going on right now! <laughs> is it not obvious? This is your wedding, princess. Oh. Huh? Why in the world am I marrying Bowser? <laughs> yeah, hey, no gripes from this side of the altar, black old boy. I don't get the details, but the Count here has gone through lots of trouble planning this. <laughs> Just relax, we'll get married, we'll be in love, it'll be awesome. Finally. No, and who picked this dress out? It's awful. Take me back to my castle immediately! Yeah, um, being rude to the esteemed Count is sort of frowned upon, okay? So yeah, Princess Peach, I'm gonna need you to answer the Count right now. I'm gonna need you to come in on Saturday, too. Do you, Peach, take Bowser to be your wedded husband till your games be over? Uh, no, no. Gee, you sure are a fighter, but yeah, no one withstands my super hypnosis. Sorry. I do, say it now, okay? Congratulations, Cam. Halt! Halt! And just who are you? Asked Count Black. Oh no, I don't give my name to scoundrels. I'm just wait as Luigi punishes you for your badness. Here I go! Yeah, I'm gonna need you to stop the the second case if you want to drop this now! Here's where 
Luigi rescues Princess Peach! Eh? What did he do? Yeah, so are you alright, Count? Fools, <laughs> pointless acts like these will earn you, you only pain from Count Black. Very well, as the Chaos Heart is secured, this ragtag group now lacks use. Um, so yeah, Count, this means you may turn to a new page of the Dark Pro Prophecies? Cosmic King. Open your mouth, Dark! Consume everything and destroy all worlds as told in the prophecy. Blech! <laughs> the Chaos Heart. And thus is the intro for Super Paper Mario. Yeah! Alright, let's create a new user. I haven't played this game in a little bit. It's been, uh, I don't know, it's gotta be at least a couple of years since I last played this game. Oh wait, no, this is not my name. I forgot that I was doing this for the show. Oh, I'm not doing this right either. Hold on, I will learn how to spell. Okay, how do you have left? Okay, we'll do just capital, we'll do space. Oh, come on. Why did it not work? Why am I doing the wrong buttons? We're off to a great start. There we go. Movie gamers. Yes, we'll use that name. Saving settings, please do not turn off power. Alright. Save complete. Awesome. Man, I love this game. Ah, the good old Mario house. Where the Mario Bros live. Did they not get mail this time? Wow, sure is peaceful today, eh, bro? Makes a guy feel lucky having a peaceful day. Eh? Oh, wait, those are his... Oh, those are the... Look at the picture frames. Those are his partners from the previous Paper Mario games. Nice. I haven't played the first Paper Mario yet, but I'm hoping to do it soon on the channel with Linda. Makes a guy feel lucky having a peaceful day. Eh? Yeah, real peaceful. It's so peaceful it's almost a little bit boring. Oh, careful what you wish for, man. It makes you just want... Uh, kablooey, you know? Some kind of shocking event! Oh, dude, like seriously. Oh, at Princess Peach's place, maybe? Well, that'd be cool, huh, bro? Maybe we should go visit Mushroom Castle. If it has been a while, I'm sure the princess would be happy to see us. Ah, oh, they don't get mail in this game. Oh, interesting. Usually it always starts off with a mail letter. Mario, help! Toad? What? What happened? Why are you so crazy? It is shocking! Mushroom castles braided! Princess Peach is stolen! Oh. What? Why? That's ridiculous! Who in the world would do such a thing? Seriously, Luigi? You don't know who would, who would do such a thing? You really don't know? You have no clue? Wait a second! Yeah, I think I've got it! Bro, this must be the work of that guy! That bad guy! More specific, buddy. I won't stand for this. We'll have to go sneak into his castle and rescue Princess Peach. Let's, let's go, bro. Okay, Luigi's voice is kind of difficult to do, apparently. Or I just don't have enough nasal logic. I don't know. We're counting on you, Mario Bros. Yeah. I don't know if this is already common knowledge, but Mario's name is actually Mario Mario, and Luigi's name is Luigi Mario, so they are actually Mario Bros. It's not that Luigi is taken into account. <laughs> Listen well, my elite minion task force. I don't know what kind of voice men give. It's time to initiate my awesome plan to invade Mushroom Castle. Oh, so he hasn't actually invaded yet. Today is the day that I make my beloved Princess Peach all mine. And if that weren't awesome enough, I'll also stop her little mustache buddies. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, we're under attack. What? We're under attack. It's our turn, Bowser. Woo! We're under attack. Um. <laughs> we're under attack. You jokers are the best. 
Hey, who are those hairy guys in the back? We shave around here, minions! <laughs> that a shaving policy. Grr! Mario? And, and Luigi? How'd you get in here? What? My front gate was open! How many times have I told those idiots? If you're the last in, lock the gate! Why, you big Bowser? We know you kidnapped Princess Peach! Now, where'd you put her? Where'd I? Wait, what? We're only now about to launch our attack. Mario, help! <laughs> Princess Peach! Black! Your princess has been taken by Count Black. You! Wait, who? By me, Count Black. The chosen executor of the Dark Prognosticus is Count Black. The fine fellow prophesied to come to this dimension is also Count Black. I'll tell you who doesn't make even a little bit of sense, Count Black. Enough! Release Princess Peach right now! I'm on a schedule over here! Count Black says never! This princess is integral to the fulfilling of prophecies! She will be brought to Castle Black and used to destroy all worlds by Count Black! Destroy all worlds? <laughs> barrier of sorts. Uh, Mario gets attacked by a barrier weapon! No! Bing bro! This man deserves ridicule. Weaklings cannot face Count Black. Hey, here's a thought. You calm down and free the princess or else. <laughs> Your princess shall not be returned by Count Black. In fact, Bowser, evil king of Koopas, Count Black will take you too. Woo! Black, black, black. Black. Oh boy. Save us! Black hole sucks everybody in except for Mario. He's gonna have enough few too many donuts. Black, <laughs> Black. Count Black's preparation are now preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the bi-dimensional void to appear, as foretold in the prophecy. Black. <laughs> Black. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a great voice actor, by the way, in case you guys hadn't noticed. So, if the voices start kind of blurring into each other, I apologize. Mario? Mario? Ooh! Are you awake? Whoa. My name is Tippy. I am what is known as a pixel, a sort of fairy. Mario, I came to find you. I am no enemy. You met Count Black, and he captured a princess and an evil king. Is this not so? Yes. Yes. Then that means Count Black is even now beginning to form the void. We haven't much time. You must come with me. Yes, if your friends are to be saved, you must come. Oh. Oh, boy. Let us go. Ooh, teleportation. By means of a drag and drop click. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. I like I like the computer effects here. Oh, well, well, well. Back so soon, Tippy. Oh, and who might this be? Red shirt, blue overalls, and a magnificent stash. Tippy, you have truly outdone yourself. He matches the description of the hero in the Light Prognosticus perfectly. And his name is Mario. Me? I welcome you, Mario. This is the town of Flipside. You have come far from the Mushroom Kingdom of your dimension. Of course, our fair flip side is in no dimension at all. No, it is between dimensions, dimensions, dimensions. My name? Merlin. 
I am a descendant of the ancients who created this town. I busy myself studying musty ancient texts to forestall the end of all worlds. Ah, you want to know about the end of all worlds? What's happening, you ask? So Tippy has not yet told you, I gather. Well then, Mario, the answer hangs above you. Ooh. Look at that boy, that black hole. Do you see the gathering darkness in the sky? It is a hole in the very dimensional fabric of space. Such a strange phenomenon. Is it near or far? No, no. It may appear small now, but it will only grow. And in the end, it will swallow all existence, all worlds, all dimensions. This void was created by our enemy, Count Black, who wields the Dark Prognosticus. A fair and lovely princess, a furious monster king. The union of these two will call forth the Chaos Heart, the consumer of all worlds. And the Chaos Heart will ravage the sky and so bring forth the void. Yes, the passage Tippy just quoted is from the light prognosticus of my ancestors. The book also says this, the void will swallow all. Not can stop it, unless the one protected by the dark power is destroyed. The hero with the power of eight pure hearts will rise to this task. So it is written. Oh, he has a heart. Did he grab it out of his own chest? No, probably not. This is one of the eight pure hearts. You are surely the hero spoken of in the pages of the Light Prognosticus. You are the only one who can defeat Count Black and save all worlds. Mario, take this and save all the worlds from destru destruction. Um, sounds like a lot of work. Ah, uh, but resisting will only give us a game over. So I will. Sure, why not? Excellent, you truly are the hero of the Book of Legend. My eyes never deceive. Well, who knows, you're getting old. So, <clears throat> Mario, our brave hero, take this! The pure heart has been thrust into your possession. Just thrust right in. Now, great hero Mario, your first task awaits. You must take this pure heart. You must place it in the heart pillar in this town. Tippy will lead you there. Return to me when you are through with this task. Okay. This way. When up appears, press the rubber direction to examine things or talk to people. Okay. Bow, 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 bow. Let's go. Oh, oops. Press it, please. Okay. Take the elevator. Let's do this thing. Yeah, this first episode, I think, is going to be a little bit long, because we want to at least reach chapter one, I think. Let's <clears throat> go. Oh, thirsty doing all these voices. Paper Mario has awesome stories, but sometimes they can be a little long-winded. This way, please. Come along. Alright. And we'll talk to these people later. Oh, we have to go up right away? Hey, how about you? What's up? Mm, this town's so peaceful, if you ask me, that's all you can really ask out of life. Oh, he's, he's very content. Oh, we got another fortune teller here? What's going on? Ooh. Sassolated with the hips. Hee hee hee. Welcome to the fortune teller's fortress. My name is Merle Lee. I use the twinkling of the stars to help people find the path to happiness. If you pay just a few coins, I'll tell you the path you need to follow next. One fortune will cost you precisely five coins. Would you hear it? No. Ah, I see. Your fortune does not interest you, so be on your way. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Get out of your hair. I don't have four, five coins anyways. Five coins. How about you? Wow, you look really silly. Where'd you- where you're from, mister? I, I don't look silly, you look silly. With your dimensional looking body and head. Earrings, I guess. You look silly. Don't call Mario silly. He's quite happy with how he looks. Okay, that way. The heart pillar is this way. Come on, please. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Oh, how are you? 
Hey, you, you know anything about the weird block stuff in the sky? It looks kind of scary, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a void. It's a black hole coming to devour you all. Huh? Weird thing in the sky? Wasn't there yesterday? Did a cloud blow up? <laughs> what am I talking about? If a cloud blew up, we'd be wet, right? Um... Uh, you might want to take some science classes, buddy. That's not how it works. This is the heart pillar. Now, get close and place the pure heart. Okay. Bow. Have a heart, buddy. Well, the new heart pillar mechanic definitely... Well, I say new. I'm thinking about relativity to uh, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Heart pillar setup actually makes it almost a little harder to get from one world to the next because you always got to find the heart pillar. But it makes the the hub a little more interesting. There's a lot to explore. Not that the Thousand Year Door didn't have a lot to explore too, but it makes things a little more interesting. You have to go exploring. Well done. Now let's return to Merlin. All right, let's do it. Although I guess in comparison, now all the the chap all the areas are all in the same place. I guess, hey, they, they completely reversed it from the Thousand Year Door. In the Thousand Year Door, the hub for collecting your collectibles was all in the same place, but you had to go to different places to reach different worlds. So, in all fairness, I guess they just reversed it. Hmm. I wonder if that's what they, if that, if that's how they decided that when they were making this game. Perhaps you should strike this block before we head back to Merlin. Yeah, perhaps you're right. I mean, perhaps you're right. Hit the block, save all your progress. Yes, we know how this works. Save your progress? Yes. Saving. Save complete. Thank you. Let's go back up. <clears throat> Let's see if we can make it to the first world. Ah, the two of you return. Look, a door has appeared. This dimensional door was made to lead the hero to another pure heart. Yes, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven other pure hearts. Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find this pure heart and return here. Of course. And Mario, I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. Um, some kind of cup? Oh, a magic pipe. Haha, <laughs> that returns you to flip side. With this, you will be able to return to Flipside from anywhere in the universe. Use it whenever you feel you must return in a hurry. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yep. Okay, fair enough. Can always get back. The Light Prognosticus foretells that the hero will be meet a dimensional governor. And from him, the hero will learn the dimensional technique. I am almost certain this refers to my friend, the Flip Wizard, Bastovius. So, go now, through this door, and seek out Bastovius. Yeah. Well, let's get going. Alright, let's do this thing. <laughs> like that. Ooh, another cutscene. <laughs> the void has been ripped in the dimension of fabric. Yes, Count Black is pleased. All has gone as foretold in the Dark Prognosticus. Now it is just a matter of time until the worlds meet their demise. Lick. <laughs> well, that's just super, Count. Yeah, first you'll erase all these naughty worlds, and then you're gonna build a perfect world without war and all that other icky stuff. Yes, yes, no one likes the icky stuff. Yes, a perfect world sounds magical. Oh, I can hardly stand the wait. Sorry I'm late. <gasps> what in the blazing bog rats? How did I beat myself here? What's going on? <laughs> Oh, old Chunks, you big silly! Did you oversleep or something? I guess it's kind of hard to be on time, though, when you've got muscles instead of brains. Hey! Hey, you can't fool me with that crazy shape shift and hologanery. It's Mimi, ain't it? Sure, a little respect for the count, yeah! You can't go a bottle in his face, lass! <laughs> How delightful, Mimi. 
almost as dapper as Count Black. Oh, golly. Thanks, Count. With you around, it's nothing but big smiles all the time. Hanging out with the Count, that's my idea of a perfect world. Oh, here I thought Mimi's ideal world was a gem-filled pool with hunky lifeguards. Hey, Dementio, have you been reading my diary? I mean, hmm, never mind. <laughs> well, different strokes for different minions. After these rotten worlds are ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. But for that to happen, we must follow the instructions of the Dark Nauseous. Uh, yeah, about that, just an FYI, I've got an urgent memo in your, for your inbox. Apparently there's been some unapproved interdimensional activity lately. Yeah, um, thinking it's the hero of prophecy, we're gonna need an action plan for this guy. A dimensional interloper? And possibly the hero? You are sure of it, Nat Nasti uh, Nastasia? Fascinating, mused Count Black. We must put an end to this nuisance. Count Black! Let me get this in my brain. This hero Nat Natasia. <laughs> this e the hero Nat oh man. Nastasia is going on about e your enemy. Then you had to gotta gotta cut me loose on him. You gotta. I'll give him a nice day, so old chunks. Very well, old chunks. I'll leave the hero chunking to you. Do not fail, Count Black. You can count on me, Count. I'll rain down on the fat like, like a fat thunderstorm. I swear it. Mimi, Dementio, you should tag along. You could witness a proper chunking. I do enjoy a good chunking. Well, then I believe I'll head out as well. <laughs> so, hero, you would defy Count Black. Then hurry, for your world's end draws near. <laughs> Black. Yeah, I'm not a great voice actor. Oh, well. I have fun. Mario was called upon once again to save the world. No small task. Could he prevent Count Black from pulling off his sinister plot? Would Mario reunite with Princess Peach? A truly interdimensional adventure was about to begin. And just like that, we start Chapter 1. 1-1. One I love this aesthetic. Having to draw the world before you experience it. It's pretty cool. I like it. I, I know this game was criticized a lot when it first came out for not being, you know, turn based combat like um, like Paper Mario is, the Thousand Year Door at least. The ones that were before. But I, I, I quite enjoy this game. I feel a pure heart, but it's still far from here. Merlin told us to find his friend, Bastovius, to learn that dimensional technique. We'd better go find him. Yeah. One more thing. If you want to learn about anything, just use my power. I know about many things. So we simply point the Wii remote and focus on, or the TV will focus on what we point. Then press A on anything framed in red to hear more about it. Feel free to ask Tippy about anything or anyone you want. Okay, so just like this, let's find out of ourselves. Put it yourself and I will give you advice on what you need to do next. Right? The first thing we need to do is find Bestovius and learn how to flip. Perfect. Okay, well that'll be the end of this video, guys. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the near future. And in the next video, um, well, this Goomba will be dead already. Alright, see you next time, guys.